We have a 2003 Buell Blast P3, which is a 500cc bike. Looks like it was not in much of a crash. Maybe a bent foot peg setup right there or a frame. I don't know what that is. Six thousand eight hundred and fifty miles. Well, let's take this for a test ride today. The clutch on this is a little touchy. Um, I don't have much experience with a Buell. This is my first Buell I've ever, ever had. I had a buddy that had one back when they first came out. He bought one of the bigger bikes. He really liked it. Um, so my first impressions with this thing is it's really cold-blooded. Like it's difficult to start. I don't know what they did for a choke. There's no choke to pull in on the um, no choke to pull in on the carburetor. So it's kind of strange. But anyways, once you get it warmed up, it runs pretty good. At the auction, they uh, they didn't. They took the muffler off it, so the muffler that I have on there is just this little, just something that I bail and wired on there to, it kind of works, just to make it um, not so obnoxious, and uh, when I go around this corner here, it'll rub, if you can listen. Oh, I guess I didn't, didn't rub. The bike only has 6,851 miles. You know, these are beginner learning how to ride a motorcycle bike. Um, really easy to ride. It's not very big, so it fits a smaller person. Brakes are okay. I wouldn't call them great. Uh, just always a little bit annoyed with, you know, it's just a two caliper Nissan setup. Or excuse me, one caliper, two piston. But I am surprised and amazed at how um, how much power this 500 has. Let's see, there you go, the scrape, muffler. No, the 500 cc's, it's, it, it's not that it's too much power, but it, it is definitely a lot better than I expected. Like, it has enough up to there's 50 it's not too bad now when you come down to the braking side it's just like come on just they could have done better there but there's a good little bike Definitely, uh, 
I think a person could truck it out a little bit, make it cool. Paint it, I don't, I'm not a fan of the gold. Maybe put a little fuel windscreen on it. All right, guys, guys and gals, thanks for uh, thanks for watching this video. And if you like this content, give me a like or subscribe. Um, and I did another video on what it cost me to buy this bike. If you'd like to check that out, you can check out my YouTube channel and look up some of the other videos. Thanks again.